y'all it's thrifty tiffany and i am back with a sunday dinner cook with me we are going to be making lasagna if you haven't yet i would love for you to subscribe become part of the family also check me out on tiktok and instagram at thrifty tiffany 35 i'd love for you to join me over there we're going to get to cooking now i'm going to flip the camera actually right now we're just prepping i'm not going to like put it all together until a little later it's around four right now so i'm going to flip the camera and show you all the ingredients all right so these are our ingredients and i already got the water boiling because i'm just going to prep things up and i'm also going to get the meat started um we have lasagna noodles of course mozzarella cheese onion garlic turkey sausage lean ground beef you could use turkey as well i got ricotta cheese i got the whole milk ricotta cheese i like the whole um egg and then these are all the seasonings for the meat as well as you always want to season your ricotta. Um, so I have like chives, basil, red pepper flakes. Gar this garlic and herb is so good, y'all. I got it from Dollar Tree, but it's the Olive Garden brand. Very good. And then I got onion powder, garlic powder, and parsley flakes. And then I got two sauces. Not sure how, many, how much I'm going to use yet. And of course, salt, black pepper, and avocado oil. But we're going to get started just pre-cooking the noodles. You don't want to cook them all the way, cook them al dente because they will cook in the sauce, but we're going to just prep that up really quick and then um, start on some of the just grounding the meat. And then I can assemble this a little later. It's about 4.43, so it's a little too early, but we're going to get started. Boil your water and add salt to it. Add pasta and you can kind of like spread them out. I used a whole box and y'all, I buy store brand almost everything it's just as good as any um and this is how i have mine set up <laughs> so we're gonna work with that and push it down as it cooks definitely boiling now and see how it just slowly falls down so those are gonna cook this is what it looks like once it falls all into place and i try to line them up kind of in a circle in there um so they don't stick together and they all cook and you don't have any hard ends so you don't have to cook the pasta like completely. You do want it to be able to like move around. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and then it's gonna cook more once you cook it with the pasta sauce and the meat and all of the sauces. There we go, drained. Get started on the ricotta um, because I want the seasonings marinating for a while. All right y'all, so for ricotta, so before you add your eggs into your ricotta cheese, season it with everything that you wanna season it with then add the eggs because you want to taste it before you add the eggs so we're just going to start adding each seasoning i'm going to start with the garlic and herb this is literally perfect i don't really have measurements i just kind of and you can never season something too much y'all up chives because i love green to show in my ricotta parsley and powder garlic powder Basil, a little bit of red pepper, salt, this is pink Himalayan, black pepper. This is how a good seasoned ricotta cheese should look. Very, very seasoned. Now you can add a little bit of grated Parmesan. I have fresh Parmesan, but I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Fresh mozzarella cheese shredded. At this point, taste it, which I did. Tastes amazing. Now I'm gonna add the two eggs. Just added the two eggs, mixing, and then just let it sit till you wanna assemble your lasagna. All right, got the onions chopped and three large cloves of garlic and just one onion. Heat up your pan with olive oil or avocado oil. All right, add your beef. Start chopping it up and also add your garlic and onion. Garlic, onions. But you're also going to want to season the meat while it's grounding um, with all the same seasonings that we seasoned the ricotta cheese with basil, parsley, onion powder, garlic and herb, garlic powder. Red pepper, the only thing is no chives. Garlic. Onion.
basil. Garlic and herb. Parsley. A little bit of red pepper. And you can omit whatever you don't like and do it your own way also. <laughs> Salt and pepper. The meat is looking so good, y'all. And then we'll add the sauce here shortly. Add your pasta sauce. This is garlic and herb. I am adding two because I did a pound of sausage and a pound of beef. As you can see, I always re-season when I put the sauce in as well. So I added some more of these in here, season every layer. It says garlic and herb on it, y'all, but if you ever try this by itself, it needs more seasoning. So that's why you always season every layer. To be honest, you almost can't season it enough, you know? And also, when you do pasta sauce, add a little bit of sugar. I'm talking about a little bit, a sprinkle of sugar. It just goes good with the acid of the uh, tomatoes. Acidity, acid, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and actually start assembling it. I'm heating up the oven on 350, um, and we're gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and assemble it. Of course, first thing is pasta sauce. Start with a thin layer on the bottom. Then we're going to add our noodles right. these noodles fit the exact length of the pan I got this pan from Dollar Tree right, we did a layer of pasta now we're gonna do ricotta getting dark in here y'all but added I added the ricotta now we're gonna add fresh grated um, mozzarella and this is like the whole milk the really soft mozzarella oh it's so good y'all spread it all over there Don't be stingy with it. Another layer, sauce. And continue with your layers just like before. All right, y'all, so I finished putting it together, added slices of mozzarella on top, parsley and basil. Now we're about to pop it in the oven on 350. All right, y'all, just pulled it out. It looks amazing. Now to let it just sit and rest until it's time to cut it. Look how good it looks when it cools. Oh my gosh. So y'all, this is all we have left. This is what it looks like. It turned out so good. Mm.